It's gonna be hard to hear shit, man. Rick Reinhardt. Bad lines, how you doing, man? Good, buddy, how you doing? I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to ask you about the World Cafe tonight, man. How do you think it went? It went good, man. Yeah. Uh, it went good. Good, very good. Yeah, man. So, uh, what would you say about the Philadelphia music scene and uh, what you've encountered on it so far? Well, I'd say it's very diverse and very college. And, uh, but honestly, it's hard. If you want to play somewhere, you got to sell tickets or you got to play a dive bar. But uh, it's nice. It's working out, you know? And uh, yeah, man, it's good. So, would you say that the World Cafe was the biggest show you've ever done? Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. But it, uh, it was kind of bullshit, though, because companies run it, you got to sell tickets. So, it's pay to play, you know? That's how you get started. Very kind. It was part of the press of Bob. Thank you, Sorry. I was sitting here with Ted Ryan from Broad Street Blues, and I uh, just wanted to talk to you a little bit about tonight. So, uh, would you say the World Cafe was the biggest show you've ever done? Yeah. How did it go tonight? <laughs> Honestly, I thought it went really well. Uh, we were able to play at a venue that, that had a good sound system, which is like, incredibly huge. Uh, and then just the fact that we were able to get people to come out, we had a crowd behind us cheering. Um, we played on a bill with three other bands that weren't necessarily our genre, but it all kind of worked out really well. I was really happy about the World Cafe, the people that ran, the sound guys were great, and the other bands were really cool. I, I thought it was a big success on our part. It's the first time that we actually had like a little bit of exposure, so it's really, it, it's kind of nice. Other than that, I, I don't really have much to say. Oh man, so uh, what would you say about the Philadelphia music? Uh, honestly, in general, it, it's one of those it, it's one of those things where if you're not looking for it, it, it goes unnoticed, and that kind of sucks. And, uh, and that's the whole point of playing music, basically, is like trying to share things with people that you might not necessarily like kind of like click with. Uh, but I think recently it, it's kind of had its like resurgence, you know. Uh, we've been able to play at like all the major spots in Philadelphia right now, and, and, and like it's been receptive. But I, I still think that. Uh, People kind of need like to get out more on their own and kind of check out new music. It, it's kind of hard to market yourself when you're just a beginning band and, and you're trying to put things out there. If you don't really have people that are following you, it, playing to like an empty bar kind of sucks. But it, it's still like kind of like a part of like the growing process. So I think the Philadelphia music scene, it, 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 like it's coming along, but it still has a long road ahead of it.